Um, I'm a poet, right? So I come from a culture, if you hear something you like, let me know, right? It's like mad silent in here. You know, I'm gonna respond. Um, cool, thank you for having me. I'm grateful to be here. My name is Kino Ibal. I am a teaching artist of St. Paul Public Schools and Minneapolis Public Schools. I am an alumni of um, Minneapolis Public Schools. Um, I am a poet who has been teaching uh, spo spoken word performance poetry through the, um, through the development of literacy for a little over four years now. Um, I'm here to speak about the uh, Grow Your Own program. Um, we all know, hopefully, if we're in this room, that we need more teachers of color. Um, being a poet and being a teacher, I am critical of language, not just how it sounds in a sentence, but how it is practiced. It is here where I will begin my critique of the Grow Your Own program. I will start with the language of the program. Um, as I see from research I've done, um, the agenda of this program is to provide an alternative route to obtain a teaching license to recruit more diverse teaching staff and encourage more people to um, come into teaching fields or develop their own. And to, address, and to address the lack of racial diversity in the state's teaching force. So as I understand, the agenda of this program is to provide an alternative route with 25 slots, but only if you have a bachelor's degree and only if you are bilingual. Um, the problem the problem with um, this process is that you're not taking into um, consideration the uh, percentage and the location. Um, I'll give you an example. The teaching force in this state is about 58,000 um, in, in Minnesota, which 96% are white and about 4% are of, uh, people of color. That's in a state where 25% of 830,000 students are of color. This criteria you have for this Grow Your Own program does not match your language that you say is the agenda. It is because of this criteria that I say this program stands as um, sort of placebo progressive. Um, though there are people of color who fit your criteria, given the numbers I just mentioned, they are inherently more white teachers who fit your criteria. It is because of this that, I, that, um, that to say to require um, a bachelor's degree as well being bilingual is not an alternative route. Um, the people who fit your um, criteria um, do not um, in relation to um, white teachers don't fit that criteria. It is having this knowledge that the IWW Social, Social Justice Committee um, submits the following three demands. That the program be 100% people of color, that 75% will not suffice. That the program have 10 slots um, set, set aside for non-bilingual persons, and if you really want the agenda of your program to be successful, <coughs> to extend the deadline. Um, also, um, the personal two wishes I have is that the merit of the, a teacher applying be not um, whether he or she has a bachelor's, but if he or she can present alternative credentials, such as a portfolio, a cover letter, a resume, or credit for experience that shows his or, or, uh, his or her understanding and knowledge of their desired subject. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. We are now going to have Alyssa Paris and then David.